Hello, welcome to June 25th. Alpha Capri is at 5%. Yes, we got some positive on the board. Here we go. Oh, before we go there, we got this already on screen. Uh, we're at 13.7 for the SPY, and we are at 12.1 for stochastics. So we're still behind, but uh, we are slowly catching up. That's the important part. So now let's go on to our chart. It's right there. There's our chart. Oh, let me go ahead and reduce the background. There we go. Okay. And we get rid of this. There's 12.5, which we calculated for the SPY. So uh, that's out of the way. Moving on. So here is a Capri. We finally got a clearance off the gantry. It's not very big, but the rules of engagement are is this. If it's going to turn out to be a weak trade, get out. Now, I'm learning this from Market Wizards, Jack Swagger's books. I finished Unknown Market Wizards. I went four passes, audiobooks. And I'm now on the Market Wizards, which I think is the first book that was published back in 1990, I want to say. I don't have that on my, on, my, uh, on my point. Let me go ahead and pull it up real quick for you. Uh, over here and Audible. There we go. And library. My library. There it is. There it is. And uh, let's see. Uh, do they have the date here? They do not. But this one here is what I'm reading. I'm listening to right now. We have gone through. Uh, I've already got to Dennis, uh, Richard Dennis, Paul Tudor, and now I'm on Michael Steinhardt on Ed Sakota. I'm here at Ed Sakota, so I'm almost done. I only got two more to go. Oh, there's Marty Schwartz. That's going to be a really interesting one. But the bottom line of the whole point is every trader said it. And it's got to be a point where you have to accept losses. They're going to happen. But they don't have to be big. That's important. Keep them small. That's where my biggest downfall was. I would have entrances at uh, on, on, on a breakout, and my exit would be so low that a spike would, like, eat up 60% and 70%. You see, I've seen it. Go back to some of my older videos where I had 100% ROI losses. Yes, that is why you see these odes are so big. They're so big is because of that reason. So now with the new mentality of one, take profit. And two, keep those losses small. And my discovery is just go to the EP. I, I avoided this a lot of time. I would accept this whole loss ratio right in there which can be anywhere from 35 to as much as 50% or even 55 or 60% on that first ratio loss. Well, the new market with the market wizards, the old and the new, both the same, say the same thing. You've got to keep your risk low. So here's what we do. We move it to here. So that's going to be today's lesson. So let's do that. So first we're going to have to uh, go ahead and open up and get the order ticket on the screen so we can uh, change it. Yeah, you can change the order ticket by going through trade, and then you'll go to your marker and trade. But I like doing it on the chart because I can see it on the chart, and I want to keep the chart in front of me. So here we go. We are going to go to fifty-five dollars. That was our entry. So, and you're not working. About, and you're going to be just just the qualifier is that the entire candle has left. Now, is there a chance that we can get a reverse and just pop down tomorrow? Yes. But look at the indicators down below. Likelihood not, likelihood not, likelihood not. Now, what could, of course, happen is we could get a spike. We could get an open, a lower open, and spike down and be taken out. All right? We saw it happen on KR just last, just, just past week. It happens. So uh, you got to keep that. That's why I don't like that bubble there. But anyway, got to move on. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the stop, and we're going to do is right, we're going to change the stop to the 55, the EP. Right click, come down to cancel and replace order. Hit the little gear on the far right for conditions. And now we here's our target 6430. But now our stop here is at 5550. And go and go. And we'll put down EP stop. So we have a note. <clears throat> have to pause. My apologies, a little, little itch there in the back of the throat. So here we are. So now we're going to check to see 
and it's at $55. So now we have the EP stop right there. And if it gets stopped out, it's going to add a few dollars to the ODE, but it's going to, it's go eventually, this will work its way through the system. That's the other point. I'll go ahead and wipe. Remember, when you want to take the bubble off so it doesn't interfere with your real estate, <clears throat> come to the gear. Don't take it here. Don't take it on that X. Take it here. Show off, show orders, apply. Okay. And now it's gone. And now we have a, we're able to have a, be able to concentrate. Come here to your, uh, instructions and change this out and put it six slash 25 and EP stop. And now your notes are up to date. Oh, and you can put down the, uh, the value. So you keep track of that and okay. And done. So with that said, let's go on to Yelp. Yelp has moved, moved up from his minus 13, and nine yesterday, nine, 13 yesterday, I think it was. So now we're at nine and we are not cleared. Now, even when we even when we clear this gantry and get up in here, because again, we have nice indicators in the up move and the general market is in the up direction. Uh, we are going to be still in the negative because we had a 60 cents, 10%. We had a 10% slippage. Yeah, we are. We paid over sixty cents more than with the anticipation of the e, of the EP that I had when I first got into this trade. It happens. Okay, so that that it is, and we're not going to be no change there. With that said, now it's time scanner time. Let's go ahead and do our scanner. So, oh, I was checking out something else earlier this morning. Let's go ahead and collapse that out, and now we'll go ahead and get our. Oops, come on, there we go. Okay, load up. We're going to go for our primary. Since the market is in the uptrend, we are going to go to the uptrend stochastic. And there is going to be for the alphas. And away it goes. And let's see what happens. Oh, we got, we got hits. There we are. We are looking at three possible hits. So here we go. Let's run this real quick in the last two minutes of our time. We're going to go down to PG, uh, put it on the chart. There it is. It comes up on the chart. And we're now going to zoom in. And there. There is our there's our now you see here I did a I did a downtrend test here and it was it wasn't a trade, it was just uh, checking it out to see how it was on, on the scanner test and it didn't work. So we will go ahead and clean that up. Come over here now, we'll grab our Fudinachi and we're going to go from the high of the candle to this dip low now where is that dip low right here right there is a dip low and the dip low is coming in at dip low is coming in at uh the dip low is it is 132.32 so i'm going to make it 130.30 132.30 so 132.30 and the high is 135.54. I'm going to make that 135.55. And that is it. And that is going to be my setup for tomorrow or this afternoon. Now I got to qualify the options. So let's go ahead and mark up the chart for Royal Caribbean. And a Royal Caribbean is right here. And there is a Royal Caribbean. Nope. And So there's our Royal Caribbean, all the markets. Oh, we got a nice, beautiful entry there. That's 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 good. It's going to be the high again, and it's good. Oh, look, the low matches my lower price channel. So that's going to be a nice, easy one to see right there. And that is going to be the, that's going to be right there. The entry is going to be off the high here. That'll be 89.90, and then this low will be 86.74. Okay, oh, we're out of time, to do, but you got the idea of what we're going to be doing. And with that said, we'll conclude today's report for losers become win with Capri at 5% and the stochastic strategy moving up at 12.1. And thank you very much for stopping by and checking it out.